fire is fast. Fire is hot. Fire is dark. But most importantly, fire is deadly. Now take note, class. The reason why I'm teaching this to you is that you will never know when it will actually happen to you. Let me give you an example. Ay, Kung dito, naman to. Ng bahay, it clearly shows that she doesn't know what she's doing. Remember class, stay calm whenever this happens. If you or your family's clothes happen to catch on fire, perform the stop, drop. Okay, looks like our time is up. We will continue our lesson next Malapit na mag-fight, di ko na malayan oras. Kain na kaya ako? Mamaya na lang sige. Fire. A chemical reaction that converts fuel and oxygen into carbon dioxide and water. A reaction that produces heat. You see, a fire starts for many reasons. And that is one of its many reasons. Fire is quick. In less than 30 seconds, a small flame can turn into a major fire. It only takes minutes for thick black smoke to fill a house or for it to be engulfed in flames. It would be unfortunate for someone if they fail to see a house fire and accidentally get caught in it. Oh my, would you look at that? The fire is spreading quickly. You might want to deal with what's happening. Tulong! Gusto sunog bahay namin! 
Okay, stop. Calm down now. You don't want to burn yourself while doing nothing but crying and screaming, won't you? In times like these, you need to stay calm. Studies show that you only have two minutes to safely escape a home fire. So, quickly, drop on the floor and crawl your way out of the room. Before you open that, feel the doorknob if it's warm at the back of your hand. Okay, you're good to go. <laughs> Stay low to the ground and crawl as you exit the house to avoid breathing in smoke. You might want to hurry. If the doorknob is warm, it could indicate that there's fire on the other side of that door. Do not open it. Instead, find another exit route. By any means, do not go back inside a burning house. Here, call your emergency hotline right away. Hello? Next time, I think you need to listen to your professor. Hey, don't look at me like that, I'm just saying. In order to prevent this kind of incident, we need to follow a few things to avoid house fires. Here are a few of them. Start by identifying fire hazards in your home. Separate any heating items from flammable objects for at least 3 feet. Avoid smoking in bed. Don't light candles near curtains and or leave them unattended or at bedtime. Do not let young lads play with fire, matches, and lighters. Keep these things in a high or locked place away from their reach. If you can afford a smoke alarm and fire extinguisher, install them on every level of your home. And be sure to check if they're working by testing them once a month. Think you got all that? So, next time, or after you fix your house, maybe try installing one of the fire equipments that I just mentioned. Like like this fire extinguisher right here. It can effectively handle all the time. Oui. 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 You think now? What is your last thing? Oui. You think now? What are you going to do? Tsaka, ba't parang hingal na hingal ka? Ah, wala po. Na-excite lang po kung umuwi. Ito talaga. Ano ka ba? Pagod yung anak mo galing school. Anak! Kumain ka na ba? Di ka na. Sabay ka na sa amin ng papa mo. Ma! Pa! Pwede bang gumawa tayo ng emergency fire plan? Bakit? Para saan?
Thank you.